Hey everybody, it's Michael Bunkley, and I am back with one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, Dave Days! Hi, hi. What is it? When I did interviews, what did I say? Who's my favorite YouTuber? You did, you we, did. We have known the past each few other years, since yeah. 2007. But for the people at home who are watching on the Fuse YouTube channel, how did you get started? You are the number one music act on YouTube. How did this start? Tell people at home. Uh, I started mainly just making videos like talking about or responding to other YouTubers. I would make fun of like Lisa Nova with some songs. Uh, I did a response You're to you. You're not funny to me, to us, to, to anyone. anyone. I know, I'm, no, like, no, wait, no. I'm like, I know that, I say that's no. not my whole life. He knows life. me better than I do. I do, I do, I'm a big Dave Days fan. So you started making response videos, which for people watching at home who want to get into YouTube, that is oh, yeah, a great a good way strategy to, like, yeah. to, to make response videos to popular YouTubers. Yeah, and that's how I got to know like you, Lisa. But Dax Lamb was one of the first YouTubers I really watched. Who's and doing quite well in movies and such. Yeah, I hear he's in a few movies that I like have to Jump check out. I love Dax Lamb. Yeah, so what's your favorite part about being a YouTuber? You've been doing this for like five years now. What is your favorite part? What's the best part for you? Uh, I love just being able to be in control of making my own content and then putting it up like whenever I want. And yeah. then seeing the response right away is like, you're your own boss. Just, yeah, no, I love that. No, I know, that's why I tell people when they're on TV, it's like you don't have that instant, but on YouTube you get that you're yeah. wonderful or you suck right away and there's some sort of adrenaline and fun to all and that. You, and you feel like you know the person posting the video. Exactly. It's, so like, it's a very personal relationship. Definitely. So, what has been Digitour like? You were one of the first people last year. You were on the first tour. What's you know? Tell us yeah. some Digitour stories. What's it like every night? Uh, Digitour, it's been really fun. Every night, it's just like randomness. We wake up in a different city every day. Um, it's just been really crazy. You do parodies though, Miley Cyrus, Justin Bieber, all that stuff. When you did parodies, Sometimes. have you ever heard from any of these? I know Miley was in one of your videos. How did that yeah. come about? Oh uh, yeah, I've done a few parodies. Uh, the Miley ones. Was I a had... running joke on your channel forever with Miley yeah, yeah. and the cutout of Miley. Yeah, well I like doing a lot of music, so I made like her songs, like rock version with lyrics like about her. Right. Like my love for her with the cardboard cutout. Right. It was really silly and dumb, and and I did like two two of those, and then she Disney contacted me, and right. I was like, hey, we want you to do something with Miley for her like new movie. So I like wrote the song and I sent it to them, and they were like, yeah, let's, let's do it. And then they gave me like a time and date when to meet Miley, and I was like. And she loved it. I, I watched that video. Oh, she's like, Dave, you're so funny. And then yeah. she was like, in your apartment. Well, I had to tell her to say that. Yeah, oh, Dave, <laughs> did you write it? Say, Dave, you're yeah, so uh, funny. Yeah, I was in the hotel. I was like, all right, Miley, can you just say, uh, Dave, you're so cute and so funny? She's like, all right, whatever. Oh, man. <laughs> but so that, it's interesting because you did, you did parodies, but you have a lot of originals. As a, a YouTube musician, and there's a lot of people at home watching who, would li who are musicians, do you have any advice in terms of like mixing up, doing parodies and spoofs or covers? Because you do a lot of covers, Alicia Keys, and I've heard, but in writing right. originals, is there a balance? Is there you know, what do you recommend for people at home who are musicians? Yeah, I mean, definitely doing covers and parodies is a great way for people to like search and find you. Right. Doing originals is hard because people, like random people aren't really gonna search, you know, your name. So you gotta like, you know, do a mix of them to get eyeballs on YouTube and also see original stuff. And it's just a good way to mix and like, kind of do everything. Right. What's your favorite original song right now? If I said, Dave, you could sing one song to, what's your favorite song of your own right now? Uh, right now, this one called Don't Let Go. Don't it's let on my go. new EP that I just put out, and put there's like five there. songs on it. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody get Dave's um, new EP, Let It Go. So thanks, Dave. Have a lot, have a lot of fun tonight. Thank you. And so congratulations on all your success. Thank you. Thank you. It's so cool. good to be here with you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys for watching, and check out all the interviews with the other Digitour artists. I'm Michael Buckley. Check me out at YouTube.com slash Buck, and make sure you subscribe to Fuse for more great content.